Hey boys and girls, Mrs. M here with another read aloud for you, this time for Camping Day. The story that I have to share today is called Fred and Ted Go Camping by Peter Eastman. Fred and Ted were friends. They liked to go camping in the woods. One day they packed their cars. They were going camping. They drove to the woods. Fred took many things. Ted took few things. They parked their cars and walked into the woods. Fred liked this spot. Ted liked it too. Fred had a hard time with his tent. Ted had an easy time with his tent. That night, Fred was awake. Ted was asleep. The next morning, Ted woke up early. Fred woke up late. They took their boats to the lake. Fred took the heavy end. Ted took the light end. They put the boat in the water. Ted stayed dry. Fred got wet. They fished. Ted used a net. Fred used a pole. Now knowing everything that's happened to poor Fred along the way and thinking to all the difficulties he's had so far, do you think he's going to catch something that he's happy with? Or do you think it's going to be another mini disaster? Ted got ten little fish. Fred got one big fish. Did anybody think it was going to be something crazy like that? Splash! The boat tipped over. All the little fish jumped out. Some of uh, the bad luck has now happened to Ted as well. Fred and Ted swam away from the big fish. Ted swam fast. Fred swam faster. Ted ran fast. Fred ran faster. Now Ted was hungry. Fred was hungrier. Then they heard a little bird. Look up in the tree. Look down at your feet and you will soon find something to eat, sang the little bird. Fred looked up, he saw nothing. Ted looked down, he saw something, berries. Fred looked up again. Bonk! Something hit Fred on his hand. A nut! Then they found some crab apples. They went back to camp. Ted ran with the berries. Fred walked with the apples and nuts. They cooked the apples and nuts in a pan on a fire. They ate it all up. Ted ate slowly. Fred ate quickly. 
What about the berries? We save the berries for last. Yum. And that is the end of Fred and Ted Go Camping. So with this story, if you'd like to share it with anyone, of course you can relate it to your own life. Relate to maybe how you and your family, if you're going somewhere, how you start out your trip. If somebody maybe packs a little bit too much, if someone is a little bit easier on the packing, not bringing everything possible with them. Also, you could think about how the character, Fred especially, how he changed in the story from the beginning to how his luck changed to the end and when things start to change for him. Also, you can compare and contrast the two characters. Think a little bit about Fred versus Ted, how some things were similar between the two of them and how things were different, as well as anything they may have shared completely in common. Well, I hope you enjoyed Fred and Ted Go Camping and have a great rest of the day and enjoy a camping day and I will see you next time. I'm going to share one more out this week. I will be doing one for Insect Day tomorrow, and this one is not a fiction story. It is a non-fiction story for those of you that love insects. See you later, bye.